All right, I did a video the other night uh, talking about dependency injection in JavaScript, and I wanted to do a follow-up showing how we could actually do a, uh, how we could use dependency injection uh, by injecting services directly into uh, routes in Express. And so let's go ahead and take a quick example of exactly how we would uh, actually do that. So I have this Express application that I wrote over here. And if we look at this real carefully, I have this, uh, uh, this file here called dataservice.js and I'm actually using Axios uh, to import in different uh, service calls from the Star Wars API. So today is May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. Uh, and so I have a couple different calls here. One for vehicles, one for planets, one for starships, and then I'm exporting these all out uh, of my module. And then uh, I have a couple of request handlers I have set up uh, for my API calls. And in here, you can see one of the things I've done is that uh, I am using the sync and wait syntax here, but specifically on the request uh, parameter, I'm referencing this uh, service property off of the request parameter, and then I'm calling the get vehicles uh, function off of this uh, service. And so what I've done is I've actually injected this service property onto all the requests in my API. And in order to make that work, we're going to have to do a couple things here real quick. Uh, one of the things here, now that I have these handlers and stuff like that, uh, I set up a uh, basic route. So here's our route, and I've kind of created routes here for the vehicles, for the plants, for the starships. Uh, I'm just importing those in from the request handlers here. So now that I've done that, I'm going to go back into my main application here. And I'm going to import in that service, the data service. Uh, but I'm also going to create a uh, kind of like a service factory right here that's going to take these uh, these three different uh, uh, Axios requests and it bundles them all up into this uh, service. And then down here, I've created this middleware called Exposed Service. And in this middleware, what I'm doing is I'm now taking the service and I'm assigning it to the service property and then calling next. And to make this all work, all I have to do is take this middleware now and I'm just going to add it into this specific route. So I'm going to add it in here like so. And to prove that there's no smoke and mirrors here, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and run this application. And so it's running and I'm going to create a new terminal here so we can test this out. And I'm just going to do a curl here just to make sure that my express service is running. So I'm going to say localhost and I'm hosting this off of port 3000 run this and we are getting a missing URL because I didn't type it in properly so if I come back over here run that again okay so now we see that you know, our index route is, is actually running now what I want to do is I want to try that on individual uh, API calls so I'm going to say API and in this case vehicles and there we can see that we're now returning vehicles from our from our service and we just did that just by very quickly creating this middleware right here and exposing the service so hopefully this shows you that it's actually very easy to inject uh, different services and dependencies into your express routes and I just wanted to do this quick video to show you how to do that if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it you can give it a thumbs down but please just give it a thumbs up it helps the algorithm and subscribe to my channel. I can do more content like this. Have a nice evening.